Welcome to our second lesson. In this lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce variables. So far, this is all pretty hard coded, this uh, hello world message. Now, what I'd like to do is I'd like to build a program which can amortize a mortgage. So take a 30 year or 25 year mortgage with, uh, I'll have to use fixed interest rates and then turn that information, fixed interest rates, period of loan principal and turn it into an amortization schedule to show you your payments, your principal paid off and your interest and so on. So we are kind of heading towards uh, financial applications. But before we get heavily into that, let's just uh, keep this nice and easy and just go for a few variables. Now, the first thing we need to do is um, what we might want to do is we, we might want to define a few variables and fix them. So for instance, what we can do is we can fix the number of months in a year because you don't pay a mortgage once a month. So maybe we could fix something like that, which is a kind of processor directive. This is before the program really gets down to the nitty gritty. So we're going to fix um, a, a kind of programming directive called months in year, and they're usually capitalized as a convention to 12 months in a year. Now that hasn't changed for a couple of thousand years. So hopefully we're okay with that. Now we'll show you a better way of doing this in a minute, but let's just, let's just go with this for the moment. We know about main and so on. Now what we'd like to do is we'd like to, um, we're going to fix this. We're, we're going to input this later. Let, let's get rid of all this stuff. We'll leave the return zero because that's always going to be the last thing we return. It tells the world everything's fine. We will be inputting this later, but let's just hard code this to start with. We're going to say, I'm going to have a variable. It's going to be a double. Now a double is a, a floating number, but it's got lots and lots of room. Now often when we're doing C++ programming, we're typically using pretty big numbers in finance. So we're just, we're, we're happy not to have a, a float, which might get limited to 32,000 or 64,000 or whatever. We, 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 want, we might want to have a loan for a couple of hundred million so a double here, a double float, a double floating number is going to be good here. Now I'm going to come up with a variable name. I'm just going to be nice and simple. I'm not going to get into Hungarian notation or whatever. I'm just going to kind of do what we uh, do to make things work in the real world. And double principal. And I'm going to set this to $100,000. So 100, one, two, three. And then I'll put a 0 0.01 just to make sure we know it's a double and not a... Um, uh, a round number. Okay, now we need an interest rate as well. Again, we'll be inputting this later. So double interest rate. Is it going to be fixed over the period? I know that's unusual, but we'll say it's 5%, let's say. Or 0 0.05. Years of loan? Well, let's keep it nice and easy. Now we're going to get this an integer because we don't need to make the years um, long. It's not going to be 32,000 years. We don't need to make it a double or a flow. It's not going to be 32.179 years. It's going to be you know, 25 years, 15 years, 30 years. I'll, I'll make this nice and easy. Years of loan, 30 years. Again, we'll be inputting these later directly into the program. Okay. Now, what we'd need now is the monthly interest. Now, we've got this... 12 figure up here which is handy so let's just do that so what we're going to do is we're going to say double um, the variable name is going to be called month interest now I'm using a kind of Java convention here for naming these variables where you the first significant word is lowercase and then all significant words afterwards are, are uppercase now you, you, there's all sorts of conventions you could do it like that um, I'll let you work out your own conventions for wherever you uh, do your business. Okay, double month of interest. And we'll set that equal to this interest figure here. Let's just copy that. Plug it down here. And then we're going to divide that by months in year, which is hard-coded as a processor directive at the top of the program. Semicolon to full stop. Now, I don't actually like this this kind of thing here. So I'm actually going to get rid of this, but it's, it's there for in case you want it. But how about this instead? Get rid of this. Make this a bit more 
flexible const. We're going to have a constant variable inside the program. Now you can't change this, you can only set it once. You know, it's a bit like um, you know, setting someone's hair colour in the genes. You set it once. I'm going to call it months in year and I'm going to make it equal to 12. Now once I've set that, that's it. Can't change it again. And let's uh, divide interest by months in year. What else do we need? Um, one final thing. Now I'll have a long here for the total number of months in the loan. Now if it's a 30 year loan with 12 months in a year, uh, what's that? 360-ish, I think. It might get over, you know, 37 or whatever the short int is on a particular machine. So we'll say this is going to be a long round number, counting number. But it's not it doesn't need to be a double. You're not going to have 30.71259345677 times pi months. So months, uh, long months of loan. That's going to be equal to the years of loan, which is 30 just above, multiplied by the months in the uh, constant integer set here to 12. Okay, so far so good. We've probably done enough for one YouTube video. We'll be getting on to doing much more with this later on. But let's just, uh, let's just, I mean, when we run, let's see if we can run that, if I've written it outright, will it compile? Yeah, we haven't well, we haven't used any of these variables and we, we can't see anything. So um, it's often good uh, just to, so we can see what's going on. Let's just print it out and see what's going on, shall we? So we're going to use the out function again, which is we know about from iostream. And we don't need to give it a full name because we're using the standard naming conventions. And firing the cannonball again. Let's put that in the principle. Let's put a little space in between, speech mark, space, speech mark, just so we can see what's going on. Um, then we'll put, put out the interest. Oop. Cannonball symbol, bit of a space. Another thing there, uh, we'll just come down a line just to, so we can keep everything on the one screen. Interest, uh, we'll do years of loan. Put another space in. Oh, new space. What else have we got? We've got month of interest, haven't we? So let's just copy that. Just put another space in. Um, and the final one, months of loan. That's the one there. That should do it. Now we need a new line on the end just to give a carriage return. Just so hit the typewriter and give it a carriage return. So end line, basic, let's see, basic O stream there. Look, you see that little message there? Basic O stream. Character T, char, character. It's going to be a new line character. And uh, let's give that a run. See what happens. Super, build succeeded. They got the $100,000 principal. We've got the 5% interest. We've got the 30 months. We've got the monthly interest, which is 5% divided by 12, which is about 0.4%. You can see there, 0.4 and a bit per month. And then we've got 360 months in the loan. That should be enough for the moment. Now we can move on to the next part.